just arrived. Turks and Caicos, Turks and Turks. We're so excited. How's the fruit punch? Hey guys, we just got to Turks and Caicos and we are super excited because the weather's super nice here and we're going to be here for a little bit over a week. We just got to our resort and we're just settling in. We had a charcuterie board so we were eating that because we were super hungry after our flight. We're super excited to be here and we're going to walk around a little bit on the beach, feel the water and the water is so pretty. It's so clear and blue. So that'd be so much fun. And then we have dinner reservations at 7 p.m. while watching the sunset on the beach and just so many more exciting things this week to come. So I'm super excited to document it for you guys. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll bring you guys along every day. Okay, so we're gonna go around and we're gonna say one activity that we're excited for while we're in Turks and Caicos. Trista, start us off. My phone's making. What? What's going on? Trista. <laughs> okay, we'll come back. I'm most excited about scuba diving. Scuba diving? Yep. Scuba diving for two days, not just one, but twice. Uh huh. To see all the fishies. Yeah. Sounds a little pretentious. I, <laughs> I'm most excited for <clears throat> horseback riding. I'm really and excited. Shopping. And shopping, but I only could say one thing, so I'm shortening it up. It First won't. Time I it won't focus on your face, but it, it's focusing on your <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful day and it feels so nice outside even though my back is already peeling because I got burnt on Memorial Day which is like a week ago from today and but nonetheless we're going jet skiing we're going to an iguana island we're stopping for lunch on the water and we're super excited um, I'm gonna try to get some footage on my phone to put into this video but I'm not gonna bring my camera because I don't want it to get ruined while we're on the jet skis but I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop and I'll see you guys later.
It's about 10 p.m. now, and we just got back from chilling outside by the pool. And we had a really busy day. I'll definitely make sure to insert all the footage that I got. And I tried to get as much as I could while enjoying the moment. But, but my stomach kind of hurts right now, which is very unfortunate. But little rerun of the day. We woke up, got ready, made sure to put on a lot of sunscreen so we didn't get burnt the whole day. <laughs> Some of us got burnt still. We got ready and then we went and went jet skiing. We went to this cave, walked into this hole, and you can walk on the top of it as well. Like I said before, you've probably already seen the footage or I'll insert the pictures now, but then after that, I lost the key. <laughs> I literally lost the key to the jet ski and I couldn't find it and our tour guide found it on the bush. Thank God. After I retraced all my parts that I walked while we were there, we found it. And then we headed to this old ship that was abandoned. We were going to jump off of it. And then we realized that we probably shouldn't because it was super rusty and the ladder was about to fall off. So it definitely wouldn't have been able to hold us. And we didn't want to get tetanus, I think it's called. Tetanus? Mm -hmm. Tetanus. And then after that, we went to this little tiki bar slash food area in the middle of the ocean. Parked our jet skis, went in there, waited like... How long would you say that we waited for the food? Um, 20 minutes? No, no. 40 minutes. Like at least like an hour we waited. And then we realized that the snapper that I got and that my cousin Trista got, it was a whole fish and you could see the eyeball. D didn't know how I felt about that. But then after that, we went to... Oh, we just drove past Iguan Island because... We couldn't go there anymore because the food took too long and we had to be back at a certain time. And then we just got back to the place and then we went to this, they brought us to this other bar and grill and then we just had like little like appetizers that we all split. We were kind of confused of what was happening. And then we got like stranded there for a solid like 40 minutes. It could have definitely been an hour, over an hour or two though. I'm not really sure. And then after we finally got a ride back to the place that we're staying, we had dinner. We had a chef come in and so we had to get ready and then we had dinner which was super good. And then we kind of just walked it off and we all went just like exploring around this resort because it's huge. And now my stomach kind of hurts. I don't know why. I'm not really sure. Pasta also fills me up a lot. And I think I ate so much because it was just so good. But I'm signing off now. But tomorrow we have another fun, exciting day. And I'll definitely bring you guys along. Hey guys. And good morning. Today is Monday. Babe, what day, what's today? Um, Get looking for Monday. It's Monday? Yes, Monday, June 6th. <laughs> Today is Monday. 2022. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Today is Monday, June 6th. 2022. <laughs> and today we are going to go, go horseback, horseback riding. riding. Oh my gosh. We went jet skiing yesterday and, <laughs> and I'm super sore today. So like my arms and my back are really hurting because we were going super fast and going over like every bump and wave. And it makes it really hard for me to hold this camera up. But to make it short and sweet, today is Monday, June 6th. And, <laughs> and we're going to go horseback riding and then come back here and just hang by the pool for the rest of the day and just relax. And then I'll bring you guys along and <laughs> make sure. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. I'm working it down. Are we able to hop in? Yes.
video. Uh guys today is awesome day because we're gonna be going parasailing in a little bit we're gonna leave and go to the beach and we're gonna get picked up by um, someone on the boat who's gonna be doing the parasailing for us or with us our guide will that yeah, what <laughs> I'm a little confused <laughs> so gonna be picking us up at the beach so we can go parasailing for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get a car to bring us to this little shopping area it's like a little outdoor mall with a bunch of little boutiques bikes. We're taking bikes. oh we're taking we're gonna take bikes to this little boutique store area and there they have a bunch of boutiques like I said 50 other times they have this store that has like dogs that you can actually bring home, which hopefully there's not any cute ones because I don't want to bring home any. And I will if there's a cute one. But then we're also going to be getting lunch and then just having a chill rest of the day because we have nothing planned. So we might go to the beach or go to the pool again like we did yesterday. Today 
day we are going just adventuring around the little area there's a bunch of shops restaurants and and so we're just gonna drive around little recap of yesterday i left you off saying we we're going parasailing and going shopping and everything so we did end up going parasailing and then after parasailing we stopped to just picked up snorkel gear from our resort and then the people who brought us parasailing actually dropped us off where we could go snorkeling and so we they got we got dropped off back at that another resort and then we got lunch there and then we went out snorkeling and we went around this big coral reef we saw a bunch of cool things like fish of course we also saw a sea turtle and got a really good video i'm going to insert it right now And then we also saw barracuda. I'm trying to think of what else. Just like a bunch of like random fish. I don't really know the names of all of them. I think I saw a dory too. But after that, we had a long walk back to our resort. So it was like, they said it was going to be like 10 minutes. But it ended up being like 30, I think my uncle said. 30 minutes. And then when we got back here, we got changed and ready. And then we went shopping. We rode our bikes to this little cute little area right near us which is super nice so we didn't have to call a car which can be very expensive and we went shopping for a little bit saw puppies and they were so cute i bawled my eyes out my eyes out <laughs> And then after we went shopping, we came back to the resort and there was actually a bonfire and barbecue out on the beach. And so we went back there and ate. It was really good. And then there was also a fireman and we had a blast. We were super tired and then waited out the night with playing board games. Actually, we played Phase 10. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it was a lot of fun. And we're all very competitive, so it made it even more fun. But now today what i've done my cousin and i went to the spa we got some treatments done we got a swedish massage which was so nice it was probably like my top like favorite one that i've ever gotten done and then i got this wrap which i've never done a wrap before so it was really good actually i really liked that one as well and then after that we came back to our room and then we went and got lunch with the car that we picked up that we're going to be using for the next few days and then we just got back from the grocery store and then we're going to wait for my aunt to get back from her from the spa because she's getting stuff done as well and then we're all going to go adventure a little bit more and check out a few restaurants so Good afternoon guys so it's the next day yesterday we ended up going to the conch shack for dinner after we chilled out pretty much the whole day and went to the pool and all that good stuff but today we rented a charter boat from 9 in the morning till about 4 in the afternoon and then we just got back got ready and we're gonna be going to this big fish fry that is tonight that a bunch of locals come to as well as tourists and like we all meet each other we eat there's a bunch of people dancing I have no idea but I heard it's really good and everyone that we keep running into or people who are driving us to like our activities they keep saying of all the stuff about the fish, fish fry so we're super excited about going and we don't know what to expect we're gonna pretty much end out the night at the fish fry and relax because we had a busy day on the boat 
we went snorkeling, we saw iguanas, we chilled out on like the water. The water is so awesome. I love how clear it is. And the snorkeling was amazing because you could see all the fish and we saw more, a lot more fish this time as well. We also saw fire coral, which was scary at times because it would come, it would be really close, like really shallow area and it would have fire coral. So you don't want to like put your hand or anything near it because it would hurt like fire, <laughs> hence the name. But we also saw like rainbow trout and we saw a bunch of schools of fish, just a bunch of cool things, had a bunch of fun, relaxed, snoozed all the way back to where we got dropped off and good food, good time. And we're definitely excited for tonight. I think the sun definitely weared us out and we're just probably not gonna be there for too long, but we'll see where the night takes us and see how much, we ener how much energy we have tonight. But yeah and then tomorrow is our last day unfortunately and then saturday we leave to go back to florida and then on saturday we leave or sunday we leave from florida to go back home so we're really sad that we're leaving soon but we definitely have been having the best time I am filming on my phone because I buried my camera all the way down in my carry-on bag so I'm not gonna grab that but I just wanted to say that yesterday we ended off going to the pool for a little bit or all of yesterday we pretty much just chilled out we went shopping any last minute shopping or little souvenirs that we wanted and then we went to the pool and the beach and we played some volleyball and then we got something to eat and then we got our COVID test to get back to the States and then we went to dinner and dinner was so good and today we are just packing up and we will be leaving here in about like 45 minutes to go to the airport and hopefully my bag is not overweight because I feel like I have so much more stuff. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 